Whether you see it or not as you go about your day, poverty is a reality for over 100,000 Calgarians. Our neighbours face a series of impossible choices. When you're deciding between groceries or childcare, housing or medicine, it's difficult to think about the future, let alone how your gifts might contribute to something bigger. But with a loyal partner, it's possible. Since 1991, over 30,000 people have come to Momentum in search of change. We work with systems, communities, and individuals to build a local economy that works better for a lot more people. To address poverty, we know that leadership, advocacy, and systems level changes are crucial. Empowering communities to build their local economy from the ground up is another part of the solution. But it is the daily connection with people that is at the core of Momentum. People who want to leave poverty behind and build a better future for their families. Whether it's through saving money, developing employment skills, or starting a business, it is the journey of each of these remarkable people that inspires us most. And that journey is never easy. Yeah, I've had a lot of challenges in my life. Before I came to Momentum, I was really desperate. Even I, I got a kind of sickness on that time. We found the economy to be quite depressed. Uh, just after the 08, after coming down here, I had nothing for months. I used to be an operating engineer. My career was pretty stable. Me as an interior designer, I tried to find something, but I couldn't. I get the, 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 the same response. You don't have Canadian experience. Uh, I was working the job that doesn't have a future for me. We were new immigrants and I wanted to start my business. I'd been running my business in Nigeria. So uh, we thought we found a place. Uh, we paid the deposit. Um, at that time in Calgary, there were a lot of scams going on. Uh, like, I just couldn't believe it. And it was all the money that we had saved. And I have three children, and we started our homeless adventure. If there's not, no diagnosis, what's wrong with you? Why don't you just get better? So I actually lost my best friend after I got sick. I've been diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. She said, don't call me, and she hung up. And so when you come to Momentum, they don't really care what you look like, they don't care where you're from, they just want to know that you have the skills and abilities to make goals and to keep them and to achieve them. There's coaching, there's people to ask, there's the experts that come in as guest speakers to ask. So whatever is troubling you, you will have a safety net there. Uh, you have to work hard. It's not a joke. It, it is a real life program. It's not something that you can you fake your way through, but if you walk through this door with momentum, I guarantee that you will have no regrets. You will come out of it a better person with more knowledge of who you are, more knowledge of um, the support systems around you, what your assets are, and how you can move forward. In Canada, things are run differently. You, you need that basic education. Why we need an entrance exam? I think we share that. Because except Daryl, rest of you guys doesn't have a high school diploma from Canada. You may have a master's degree, Francis, but it doesn't count. So you have to go through this entrance exam. So, so 12 weeks, you will be working with uh, Shang, Nina, and Doa, who you will be meeting her very soon. One of the goal during these 12 weeks to get you guys ready, academically ready, for your interest exam. People that have been born and raised here, they kind of get the flow. But people that are you know, new, you need that education. And I feel like the only place you can really get it is at Momentum, because it's so broad. It's like you're being given the ABCs of living in Canada. And also, Nina will be working on you guys to get your mind ready, not only academically, because the employer won't hire you just because you have a good mark, right? There are lots to learn. So are you guys clear? So like momentum state, momentum, the week get ready to working experience and towards a job. At the momentum, they want to make sure they find the right person to the right thing. It's, it's just like a family. Walk in, talk to them, they, they will find something for you to do, they will help you. Job free, okay, or you just call me Jeff for short. My name is uh, Tita. My name is Daryl. My name is Omar. My name is Kjell Sankinsa. My name is Pshamak. My name is Jose Vanegas. 
My name is Evgeny. My name is Godwin. My name is Abdul Wali. I call me Zuko. My name is Isaiah Gentle. You may call me Gentle. My name is Osana Prakta. My name is Hedo. My name is Abraham Leonard. Uh, my name is Francis. I am from uh, Cameroon, West Africa. Yeah, so my father, he passed away uh, when I was uh, 19 years old. Yeah, so he was uh, hit by a car. I can remember, but then I was also sick. I was suffering from malaria. My cousin who went to the hospital with my dad, I could remember vividly like, when he opened the door, I looked at him. I remember like he shook his head, which was an indication like, he's gone. I felt really heartbroken, but like what could I have done? We just had to accept the situation and then uh, we had to move on. So my interest in uh, the program is like, during the days when I used to be in high school, I always act like a plumber helper, but never had the opportunity to be a plumber because the family didn't encourage that, you know? I can promise myself someday I'm gonna be a plumber. Hello again, everybody. So my name is Erin Kelly. I am a born and raised Calgarian. So I am just so excited to get to know each and every one It's of like the dream of every person to, for a better job, for a comfortable life. So again, welcome and uh, thank you. Today I'm sitting in Canada. Go for it. Like my heart always tells me, take that first step. So many people have a dream waiting for them, just like Francis. The challenge is where to start. I think it's really easy to get caught up in something and not see the big picture. So the whole scope of starting at the top, to see the, the big picture, the goals, like what is the, the ultimate goal, and then working your way down into this list of things to do to achieve that goal has been, and will always be for me, like the, the biggest thing I take away from Momentum. We know the big picture, right guys? But how can we get to the big picture? If we talk about the whole journey, actually, um, because the economy toughness now in this province, I think the, mm, the most challenging component is towards the work experience, especially the employment. How you get through your journeyman journey, you have to get an employer want to indenture you, you have to work in the field. In this kind of economy, it may not happen as easy as before. I guess you're always looking to be at top, at the top one day, I guess. And I remember our our first night being homeless. You're not looking forward to the next day being harder than the day you're on, so. I didn't know at that moment what was gonna happen. And I could hear these footsteps coming closer and closer to me because our little cots were on the edge right by like the exit sign. And as the person got closer and closer, I could see the top of their head over the cardboard. All of a sudden, this guy was standing there and I've never felt fear like that in my life ever. And so I sat up and I surprised him. He kind of stepped back and I'm like, what are you doing? And he said, it's my job a couple times a night to come and count and make sure everybody's here and everybody's safe. And I thought, I can't live like this. And that was our first night of being homeless. My, my family, kids and husband, they are number one for me. I guess my kid, because I probably would just quit. Um, my son is like, I don't want to go back to Nigeria. He was born in the US, we moved to the UK, and then back to Nigeria, and now, now in Canada. And now he's telling me, he's telling me he's settled here. Now I don't want to approach him again. So he's my, and I don't want to disappoint him. So hard work and fun are not mutually exclusive. What does that mean? What does that mean? Yes, they go together. They go together. We're gonna work very hard, but we're gonna play hard also. All right? I don't want you to come to class and say this class is boring because I promise you my classes are not going to be boring. Your mind is like a parachute because it only works if it's open. If a parachute doesn't open, what happens? Down, right? Okay? So your mind is also like a parachute. If it's open, it works. So your goal in getting a job is to make sure not only you get the job, but you have a very long shelf life. And the only, the only way you can be valuable to the employer is if you have your soft skills. That is the magic today. 
there was a time when anybody who went to apply just got a job. Today, the competition is fierce. It's really fierce. All right, now, we're gonna take a break. I think to truly be accepted, people have to know who you are. All right, so before we start, I want to get to know a little bit more about you. So I'm going to give you a few questions. Yeah, I, uh, I grew up with my mom and my dad, and I had uh, five siblings. Yeah, we all lived together. No, when my father died, uh, I had to support my younger brothers. I had to support other people. So what I was making in Cameroon wasn't that much. Yeah, I had to support my mom because my mom, she was just a housewife. And then um, my dad, his pension wasn't that much. So uh, the opportunity came when I had to go to Korea for uh, a scholarship. I just said like, mom, I know you're worried that I'm leaving. But uh, you, deserve, you deserve a much more better life than the life you are living right now. And you know I'm growing older. Someday I will have my own family. And uh, taking care of you and my family means I'll need more money. But if I just uh, keep doing what I'm doing, I won't be able to do that. You can't always be timid. You can't always be scared in life. You know, all of us have good strengths. We have weaknesses, yes, everybody does. But focus on your strength. Whatever you focus on grows. Personal growth is a big part of the journey at Momentum. It's when you are halfway there that your character is really put to the test. I know that, um, that I represent a lot of people. So if people can see me being successful, um, if they can see me with confidence and slowly getting all the things that I've dreamed about, that I've goals that I've made and I've I've achieved them, then they can do it too because I'm just a normal person like anybody else. So he came in afraid of math. He told the story that when he came in, uh, when his math teacher used to come to class, he used to sneak out the other door. So for fun, I locked the doors the first time. But and the wonderful thing about Francis is he's got a wonderful smile. Um, but I just calmed him down a little bit, told him it's not really about you know knowing or not knowing, it's about the process. I wasn't really good at math because the teachers, they split it, the class was kind of split between those who know math and those who don't know. They didn't encourage us to study math, and that's the difference I see out here. Out here in Canada, it's like they try to encourage the people who are not good at something. You're doing the rap because it's easier, right? We just settle down, take a deep breath, understand the problem, and then just systematically work our way through the whole thing. So the other thing we talk about is that as a professional, uh, start at the top, review all that we've done, check it off, check it off, and then when we're happy that we're done at the end of it all, and then we have this little thing where we can pound the table and say, yep, that's the answer, I, uh, we're right. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm confident my answer is correct. Everything's good. So by the time you leave the tutoring and going home, now you are very clear of the doubts you had before. Usually I have a routine when I go back home. And then sometimes I have to like help out my wife, iron the baby's clothing, those kind of things. And then again, I still have to look through my notes before I go to bed. Usually I want her to go to bed at 8.30. Mm, I don't see that happening. Because every time I do revision, I have to learn something. So I like to do that constantly. I'm, I'm not uh, very good with the numbers. I worked and working on this in me because I want to improve it. If you can figure out what the problem is, then that's how you can move forward with it. It's important to take little steps. There's, I'm sure you've had little drops of water make a mighty ocean. But if you don't have a good foundation and you're trying to build a big house, I mean, it's going to crumble. If you skip steps, you're going to have to go back and take those steps. Because failure is a temporary situation. Uh, this afternoon, we're having a, a math, math test. So uh, the purpose for the test is 
for an evaluation to evaluate the progress made so far as uh, math is concerned. Yeah, at the beginning, actually, to me personally, it wasn't satisfactory because then I had a 50%. But uh, I remember I promised uh, the coordinator of the program that I was going to improve along the line. And I just want to make sure I keep to that promise. And I want to deliver that today. So I remember one day my phone rang. That was Momentum. That was Shelly. He said, is that Francis? I said, yes. He said, congratulations. I said, what? He said, you made it the math and the English. I said, really? She said, yes. Oh, to me, that was, that was the news I've been waiting for. So he said, OK, you have to come, and then let's continue with the paperwork. And today, the math that my teacher used to tell me that I wasn't good at. On a daily basis, I am improving greatly. And now, like, I also have passion for it like, all the time. Um, I'm on it, studying. Probably I will also recommend some tutoring for some of the participants, more tutoring, just to make sure that you are on the right track. But generally speaking, like it's, um, I'm pleased with your results in general. Okay, yeah? Thank you very much. Very good. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, um, but, uh, some of them I figured it out at the end, some of them I don't, I'm not sure if like, I really figured it out properly. Jeffrey and I'm going to see, then uh, again, learn from that. We all are constantly measuring and judging our own lives, but the story is not over. And the truth is that our learning has only begun. Yeah, this is good. During the entrance, I had 56, now it's up to 80, good. What we're finding right now job-wise, and again, as I said, when I asked the question, how many of you are looking at jobs, every single hand should have gone up. And I can't promise you it'll work. If there's no jobs, there's no jobs. But what are you gonna leave with? If you go through this and they're super impressed with you, you're six weeks and they say, oh my gosh, I wanna offer you a job, but we just have no jobs. What are you gonna leave with? You know, if you work hard and with the principles that Momentum teaches you, you're able to achieve your dreams and the goals that you have for yourself. I'm going to have him introduce himself, but I thought first, before Pete did, you could just get, get to know the guys a little bit. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> you, Francis. Yeah. My name is Francis, and I'm from uh, Cameroon. Yeah, so I choose plumbing because um, I love puzzles. When I was young, I used to play a lot of puzzles. And then when I see the plumbers working, what comes to my mind is the plumbing, putting the pipes together, like putting the puzzle together. That's so very good. That caught my attention, and then the passion for it started. Good, good. Yes. Very Thanks. good. Thank you. Kao Sang, am I saying that right? And you're after one thing, and never lose focus of this. No matter what I say, no matter what anybody else says, you want one thing, your journeyman ticket. OK? There's a few types of plumbers. There's commercial, there's industrial, and there's residential. If you're a person that likes to get a blueprint and be left alone and figure it out, put the puzzle together, and she said, I like that, I like that, that's very good. You can go to one of these, commercial, industrial. In residential, there's two fields. There's housing and there's service, okay? Now these are the most common ones. You see the brand new subdivision go up and all those houses go up and you go in there and you slam those out and it's piecework and you can make really good money when you get really fast. The hardest of anything is service. It's like a doctor. I think it's your appendix. I think it's your gallbladder, you know. His best guess and then he's got to cut open and hope he's right. Ah, uh, this guy is a, is a great guy. This is something I have to reflect on and to decide like where I want to be. So now I have this opportunity again to go back to my goal, the steps I've put in place, make some adjustments to that. You smell that, you smell it? Smells like money to me. <laughs> <laughs> the plumbers, they're kind of 
coming to the end of their upgrading program. So they had life skills, they have some of the employability uh, readiness sessions, um, English, math, and they're getting ready to go to state. Hi guys, guys. sit together, try to uh, get to know other people. Remember what you learned about networking? Yeah. This is part of it, okay? So have fun, guys, enjoy, and start the food, okay? So you... A lot has changed. Every time you meet people, you share something. You learn about something. In the beginning, we were like strangers. Now at the end, we are like brothers. <laughs> and, but thank you again so much, and don't forget your dishes, okay? Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for the night. Uh, good morning, how are you? Yes, I will be leaving home in a couple of minutes. I have to stop at the gas station, fill up, so... Okay, buddy, see you shortly, yep. Hello, buddy. Good morning. Good morning. So this is where people park. This is our seat. Did you happen to talk with Sasha and uh, Irene again? Yeah, I spoke to, Sa I spoke to Sasha. Uh, through SAID, it's when we, as an employment facilitator, start to work with them also about the work experience. What are the expectations? So if in the past we had to connect with, you know, 30 companies to get 15 spots or 10 spots, now we have to connect with more than 100 companies. So the skills you get from plumbing, you can transfer to pipe fitting when things get better. That's why we've changed it a little bit where we really want the guys to take some ownership. So as I said to them, are you out there? Are you looking on the internet every day seeing where are the jobs? Are you talking to people saying, I'm looking for a six week unpaid work experience. There's huge benefits to your company for this. Yeah, I know PCL is involved in uh, construction. construction yeah, yeah. Obviously they should get, they should uh, have PCL. plumbers. Let go. Mm -hmm. Because after they complete the program, that's what they need to do. They are going to have to go extra mile and be able to handle their selves and know how to approach the company. Haha, <laughs> said, here I come. The first day of school, a first date, or a new job, when it has taken all you have to get to that point, the opportunity can be overwhelming. And sometimes it all pays off. I've arrived, you know, when you think back and the light bulb goes off in your head and you see something so clearly that, you know, you can taste it or smell it, it's, it's, it's really um, tangible. Well, with regards to like what my parents, they want me to be, they wanted me to be a police officer. But to me, um, that was not what I wanted. I didn't have the passion for that. So right now, as you can see, I'm carving away for myself. Like what I wanted to, I wanted to do long ago, I couldn't do it. But the anxiety, that love for it, that passion was still there. You know, right now I'm on the way to, uh, to do that. And uh, but again, it's all about success. It's all about happiness. I know, like, although my dad is not here, but so far, like, from where I'm started and right now where I am, I've recorded success. So he would, if he was still alive, he would have been very happy, no matter what. Like, my, my child is going forward. My child is uh, progressing in life, you know. That was something, like, he really liked. Yeah. And, uh, like, my mom to now, right, uh, she's happy. Like, I'm doing better than I would have do. I would have done if I was still back at home. And when I'm playing with these tools, putting pipes together, assembling pipes, fitting, again, it goes back to this idea of a puzzle. So I love it. Uh, actually, we got the results for the entrance exam. I've come a long way. I'm mean, 85% is it's really good. Now it enables me for any company that is interested in me to indenture me. You are learning way more than this. 
right? And we, you want to keep track of that. My Sasha. Yeah, that's it. That was our session today. Finished with hard skills. Hopefully they will keep that and we'll be able to work with their resumes. Uh, out for a new coffee with the employer. So hopefully we'll get a lead from that and be ready for the next placement. Yeah, so now that we have uh, checked out the, the, the skills, uh, we have to now include them in our resumes in preparation for uh, interview for the job placement as well as possible employment. I am from a different profession. Because of um, momentum, I have a job today. Where I did my pre-apprentice, they taught me to drive the forklifts. I could come in, adapt. So it's the forklift I'm using to survive, to, to feed, feed my family now. One more. Funny one. So I'm here with Randy and Erin, and we are completing our last site visit for the work experience. Take the desk for that. Every site is a surprise. Every <laughs> site is a surprise. We are visiting Francis and Wally and they are working at MGS Mechanical and we are gonna go inside and find out how they are doing. Hi, I'm Brad, I'm a foreman with them and today they're going to be putting together a Wheel McLean boiler. There's some sections over there. Oh boy, uh, my first day. It was like I asked myself, is this what I really want to do? Because there was a lot of heavy lifting. Each section of these boilers is going to weigh about probably between 300 and 400 pounds. If you don't line it up correctly, probably we might have a leak. But uh, it just requires a little bit of patience, adjusting it, moving left, moving right. The thing I like about Brad is he shows you something the first time, and then the second time he lets you do it. He, ha he has good mentoring skills. Uh, they work hard. Uh, they don't turn anything down. I'm hoping that uh, they're the kind of guys that'll have a position with us in the future, really. Uh, 21st, we have uh, the graduation. Yeah, actually, I've been voted by my mate uh, to represent them on that day. You know, the journey has been long. The climb has been steep sometimes, but we're almost getting there, so I can't wait for that day, man. You know, we landed in September 2011. As a new family, newcomer, we started our own business in August 2012, 11 months. This is a miracle. People, uh, they wonder how we did it. Welcome to the Plumber and Pipe Fitting 2016 graduation. It's been challenging, I would say, but he had that willpower. There have been some rough times, but thanks to you know some of his teachers, as he told me, they offered them private classes, and that helped him a lot in catching up. I was behind him, his kids were behind him, my mom was behind him. We all encouraged him, and you know at the end of the day, he has succeeded because today he's graduating. So I'm happy. Please welcome Francis. Today is a night of gratitude, appreciation. So to all the friends and families here, I stand behalf of my colleagues. Thank you for honoring our invitation to come and celebrate success with us. The first thing I learned in a moment is the attitude of gratitude. Start appreciation from the little things and then the door will open for bigger things. You have two options, fight or flight. And I'm here because I chose to fight and I'll keep fighting to the end. Have a nice evening and enjoy. I am very, very grateful today. I, I can stand on my own feet. I can be my, myself, create something the customer or the client will like. At the same time, you know, I'm doing something I love. And I have a son now. And that's, that's a change of positive changes on my life. This is wow. <laughs> Achievement, yes. And it couldn't be done without momentum. Like, I'll always have challenges, but to know that I'm working towards something that's really purposeful for me will help me overcome all the small steps, like all the barriers that I'll face in my future. Momentum's here to help people, and because of that, I didn't feel alone. I still don't feel alone. I feel like I've got support. Like, they've really created changes in, in local Calgarians that would otherwise not be existent. And it's nice that momentum was a part of that 
dream for my son and a part of that dream for us as well. It takes a lot to get out of poverty. Courage, ingenuity, and perseverance. At Momentum, we believe Calgary can be a place where people don't just get by, but can actually get ahead. That's why we're actively working on systems level initiatives that remove barriers for everyone. To us, it's about more than just getting good jobs and starting businesses. It's about building a place where people feel connected and are able to truly live their lives. It's about Calgary, and it's about every one of us. No matter where you come from, your culture or beliefs, we all embrace the opportunity to create the life we've always wanted for ourselves, our families, and our community. So let's do this work together. Let's start that journey now. We're almost done with the upgrading uh, in Momentum. So now we have to go learn uh, the soft skills. With oh, I'll take it again. It's life, uh, life skills, because then, um, Without that, I wouldn't survive in the, in the industry. You will get to hear a lot of things that you're not used to. So you see a lot of guys, every sentence comes with a F word. <laughs> it's something that you can lead, you can... Uh, um, I don't know how to say it. You can cut. 